see if there's some audio for the stream. There is. This. Amazing. I don't know how it happens. Every time I try to start up the stream, there's always one thing that has decided to eat itself. Uh, this time, it was my camera. Just uh, wouldn't turn on, so a couple unplugs, replugs, finally got it in. Uh, it's a family-friendly stream. Tonight, it is... Uh, what's the name of this game? Oh, yes, it's Alex Kidd uh, in Miracle World. A remastered version of it. I've not played this. I've never, uh, maybe in one of these like Sega Genesis Mega Collections or something. I made a might have played one for about ten minutes. Uh, but otherwise, I don't know anything about this lame seeming uh, Mario wannabe. Oh boy, is that that probably sounds harsh. I just. That's that's my impression of it was like, oh, this looks like the thing that is trying to be a Mario thing, right? I don't know. I did not have any visibility on a map. Of them. I didn't know Sega existed uh, until well into the Super Nintendo. Like, I had some friends and my brother got a, a Sega Genesis and I, I never... I knew, that, I knew that's where Sonic was. So, as a kid, coming back and playing all these... uh. Or as an adult, coming back and playing all these Sega games that I might have miss, missed out on. Uh, I think two things. I think one, hey, the Sega Genesis has got a uh, pretty varied and interesting library. Number two, glad I had the Super Nintendo. I think the types of games that the Super Nintendo had were more what I liked. Sega games always seemed very difficult to me, uh, and I didn't have the patience for them. Having that said, all right, let's see if we can uh, transition over. Whoop, that's not the that's not the right controller. Oh, and of course, it's family friendly stream, so I'm gonna uh, pop open one here. Yes. Oh, busy. It is the Hutton and Smith Tectonic Sessions IPA? Hmm. This is local. I know this. Because I drive by their, I guess it's distillery. I drive by it at least once or twice a week. Uh, it is not a place where they serve it. It is just a place where their logo is, and I see large barrels uh, around their property. So, all right, let's uh. See my Switch dashboard? Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? Oh boy. Okay, cool. So I'm going to move this window over here. I'm going to transition. Oh, look, there's my dock. Home screen, sorry. Uh, now I'm going to turn my monitor onto the switch. You can see my wonderful games. I like to go in blind. I've not played this at all before, so it... That's me. So, heads up, going in, there's a couple of things that I think need to be addressed. Things I know about this game. Uh, a one... Hey, I'm Alex Kidd. <laughs> Options, we gotta see that. Oh, whatever. Infinite Lives. We'll start old school. All right. Oh, 
Okay. Um. Uh -huh. Distant planet. Shell core martial discipline. Alex was not aware, but at the time, Redaxian region was under threat from Jenkin the Great and his minions. This is... Already too much. Mount Eternal. Well, that's fine for today. Gut Roar. I think it's time to go home. I oh, I see it. Oh, no. Uh... All right, that's cool. Uh, I do like this, uh, the pixel art. That's pretty neat. I don't know what that was about. Oh, I can shoot rings. Oh, okay, so. Here's what the problem with the... I'm going to move this mic closer to me here. Uh, here is what I understand the problem to be with this remaster. I did not know this until after. So... This is based off of the European PAL version. Why would that matter, you say? Well, it's subtle. Oh, oh! Old games. And I, I see it. I totally 100% see the, the judder. Uh, it probably is not coming across on the stream. Uh, I would probably think that something was off, but never quite put my finger on it. But because I know, uh, again, the port of this game is based on the speed and the physics of a game that runs. Oh, the ah. 10 frames per second less than other games. Uh, Oh boy, how do we get this? Don't even need to. Oh, man. Can I shoot down? No, of course not. Of course not. I'm just getting a feel for this. It's fine. I'm also trying to talk and explain something while playing this. Uh, I think a professional gamer. Whoops. Oh no. Oh no, we've walked into something. Uh, anyway, this game is, the code is like based on uh, something that runs at 50 hertz a second instead of what all modern screens do now which is run at uh, 60 frames per second. So most of your monitors, TVs, and all North American CRT, big old TVs, uh, ran at 60. European big box TVs ran at 50. So in the HD era, they kind of both started running uh, 50 or 60 frames per second. Now, what was lost in that was that a lot of Europe... Oh! Oh. A lot of Europeans got the raw deal and got a slower, albeit not much, a slower version of a game uh, that often ran chuggier, and uh, for some reason they decided to base this game off of... Oh, why do I even... Why? It's okay. 
I'm gonna actually try to concentrate now. Punch. I'm just trying to do too much here. I'm not bad at video games. I swear that's not true. I'm... <laughs> I am. It's true. I am actually bad at video games. Yeah, I do like the artwork, though. Like, there's a good version of Wonder Boy on here that is the Dragon's Trap. The Dragon's Lair. I can't remember which one. Uh, it's a... It is also a Sega Master System game. And I played that one, and uh, it, it was fine. But what I did is the... New graphics almost seemed... Ah! Okay, you can't punch him. You cannot punch him. Alright, um... I'll take the extra life. Oh! Oh! Jeez! Savage. All right. Man. This is, uh... Exactly what I remember about Sega Genesis... Or Sega games. It's just that they were like, Man, they're... Kind of unforgiving. Is Jenkin. <laughs> Sorry, a little sniffy. Got some allergies going. Definitely feels uh, floaty, though. In a way that... Oh! Ah, uh, whatever. Can you not punch underwater? Fine. Back to it. What did it say? If you found the f game too hard? Perhaps just get better at video games, you old man. Acceleration is just like... But, uh, as I was saying before about the frame rates and blah blah, like... I can tell. When he starts running across the screen, you can see like a little...
I think Alex Kidd controls very poorly. This is not good. Uh... Two hits. Maybe I should just get out of his way. Ah, uh, how do I? Mm. Come on. Yes. this look like? Oh! That looks way different. Uh... Obviously... Car. Just run up from? Yeah, I'll take it. Hell yeah. Well. Yeah, this is where the jetter is super obvious for me. It might be a deal breaker, but. Probably if I had a fondness for the original, I would be more angry. But the consensus I hear is that this game is not necessarily maged well. somehow you're watching, and you say, this looks pretty neat, I would say, wait, wait, you know what I would do, go play a game called Wonder Boy and the Cursed Kingdom? I think that's it. Uh, it's expensive, it's like 40 bucks, I think, it's not, it's not cheap, but it is one of these, and it looks great plays amazing. The soundtrack uh, is absolutely incredible.
Well, let's start off. Let's do rock. It's uh scissors. Okay. Oh, they're following. I can't get up there? Okay. Oh, I gotta get past him. Alright, let's see. Burp. Oh, my actual TV speakers are on, too. It's picking, it's picking the, uh, picking that up. I'm getting hang of it, I'm not dying as much. Oh, I didn't know you could hit the blue ones. Okay.
Your truth, my truth. Child of two Ds. You're Goku. Oh, snap. Helicopter? Okay, sure. Let's go. rice thing. I guess that's what I could have chosen the options. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm gonna try not to hit anything. Gosh, you just have to hit the button. can't. There we go. I guess that's the only way I could do it. Rice thing.
Oh, there's a bat. What's that do? What? Oh my gosh. I'm just sending them all to my doom? It's insane. Sorry, little Alex's. Hmm. I'm guessing when I run out of lives, that's uh, this is it. Seems like a hard jump to make. Oh, okay, I'll just start. All right. I'm careless. I feel like there's a lot of, uh, just don't even try extras you want to avoid. Oh! Continues. I would figure there was something that would make it a little bit harder, like too many continue. You know, now that I, not now that I think of it, but I do remember Super Mario Brothers being pretty uh, in unforgiving. Like you had three continues, and then that was that. That was that. helpful. go in the volcano now I 
Wait a minute. I don't know, he makes he makes me think of uh, the kid from... And I only know this because it has started recently playing in our house. The uh, f kid from Foster's Imaginary Friend house? Oh. I'm sure that's the name of it. Video game pro, right here. Oh. Oh. There we go. I didn't need to overcomplicate that jump. doesn't go away. Oh, I'm running fast. Oh, gosh. That seems bad. I thought it was the Mario rules where you could just run over it. It's not the case. It's not the case. Oh! Well, these things look like an old school. 
<laughs> it's a pretty, it's a pretty good interpretation of, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Eh, don't worry. Well, you really can't book it in this game. Oh, all the way over. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Probably the more simplistic graphics would help with, like, a... Uh, I've seen this before in other games and stuff, where it's like... Yeah, the animations are more extravagant, but, like, you sort of can't... Hitboxes and stuff don't match up, and you have a hard time, like... Figuring out if you're actually gonna hit something or not. Uh, sometimes too much is, yeah, weird. But, uh, I kind of prefer the look of what they've done with this. Oh my gosh. Blarg. Well, this is that, like, old school, haha, screw you, like. guessing this huge fist for a face wants to play uh, rock paper scissors obviously I'm just gonna do a process of elimination it is not that It's interesting to me, in this era of 
there. Best. What, so there's some like book that's like a best practices for video games. Don't put in arbitrary garbage that uh, relies on chance uh, as a boss fight. Which, that's what that is. Always have something that's skill in there as a like carrot on the stick. Uh, even if you have to budget behind the scenes. Make the player feel like they're doing something, right? Uh, I just... That probably didn't exist in whatever year this came out. I don't... That's, uh... <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, oh! I don't think a kid... Spelled with Wendy is playing this in like 1980 whatever year this came out I would actually like to google that but all my computers are in use uh you know like a kid probably ain't playing that going like oh, this is bad game design this is the fun factor blah, 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 blah. no one like Oh, right, yeah, not Mario rules. Can't run can't run across that. Oh, I'm never gonna get, beat this guy. Rock, paper, scissors. What are we doing? I'm about uh forty five minutes in. Yeah, cool. I don't care, I'll get hit. There's no consequences for it. I'm glad there's no limited continues. Like, I don't... I don't mind starting a stage over. That's fine. I'm not a big fan of, like, continues, though. I, uh... Generally, when I decide to cheat in, uh, old... old school games, uh, it is to turn on infinite continues. Because I feel like if you have... Invincibility, you don't, like, learn the stage, but if you have, like, infinite lives, then you could just reply, you know, you can, I can just start a lot of stuff over and be fine, and, yeah, it's either lives or continues, one of those is, is always kind of where I, where I go. Oh, whoa, ah, whoa. Oh, he just shakes. He doesn't do anything. I'm really interested to see, uh, fire this up on the ah on the master system and see uh see what it looks like. I tried to play... Wonder, Wonder Boy 3. Uh, I think that's the Dragon's Trap on the Master System. It seemed like the place to play that game, but it turns out that's not. Uh, that game does not run very well on the Master System. Oh! I didn't hit the right button. Oh, just... yeah. Let me start over. That's fine. No. 
on, we're going up here. I need to get this bat, because when I want to fall, I fall under that crab. That's the first time I've ever gotten past one of those things. All right. All right. So rock doesn't work. Let's go scissors. do the second time. I think it was rock. Uh, uh, I think I did rock again. Uh. Maybe it is a thing where he's like, you do this over and over and I'll figure it out. Ah, <sighs> finally. Book it, man. Ugh. Yeah, you might be able to really see it now. The old screen shake from it not being. This looks. Oh, jeez. You... No. No, 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 you could have it. Ah. Well. Hmm. Just walked right into him. Wow, okay. That's it. Oh, 
No monies? Hmm. Gonna make this level pretty hard. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, not even gonna try to punch that one out. Oh, come on. It's my fault. Pop. Uh, how do I do that one? Yeah, this, uh, you can really tell the frame rate thing. I almost, had I not been sitting on this game for a, oh, quite a long time, I probably would have been playing Quake instead. They released a new version of Quake, a remaster, which seems super exciting. Um, uh, ouch. Uh, Night Dive Studios are kind of these, like, kings of remaster that have been just going around just making some top-notch ports. Uh, my favorite one that they have done uh, was the absolutely killer port of uh, the second best shooter on the Nintendo 64, the uh, uh, Turok Dinosaur Hunter, and its sequel. Uh, but I prefer things about the original. Uh, they also did another one that I've been wanting to play called uh, Shadow Man. They're doing one called Power Slave Read uh, Exhumed, which is... Uh, if you like Metroid Prime, some guys that made a Sega Saturn game, first-person shooter, that had some... It, it sort of combined the look of, like, a... a oh, why did I even try? I need to just concentrate on this. Yeah, anyway. Not Dive Studios. They've been making some uh, cool stuff. This. If I didn't know what was the cause of it, the Digital Foundry had a had a thing where they talked about what was specifically wrong with it. Oh, I can't. I have to just keep going on that one. Oh. Maybe I'm running out of patience on this one. Hmm. shot it. But I know what to do now. <laughs> God, if this game had, like, game over, you went back to the beginning... 
Jump, you can't jump. Maybe can I? Absolutely cannot do that. I gotta just slow myself down. Where there is a will, there's a way. I will do this. Oh, I think I'm going about it all wrong. I know, I know, I know that I know what I need to do. I know, I know. Oh, I messed up. Oh, okay, you can do that. wrong with my brain just then. stops right I guess I'll find out in 300 years when I get back there again Probably my capture will have it, but Twitch may not. It definitely, you can, uh... three lives say it ain't so see I'm a pro I feel like that should read you fell for it but whatever huh. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. I should just jump over him then. Okay, it looks like he does it on, like, a timer, rather than- oh! Like, he just swings his sword every couple of seconds, it doesn't matter where you are. Sure. Usually jump over that. <sighs> ah, too much momentum. Can I turn on infinite lives now? Oh, I can. Shop. I mean, those things will kill- those question marks will kill me, right? Oh, he raised- oh, okay. Well. Oh. Oh. 
too, I was cutting it too close. Oh, nice. Go me. River. Says I have to go fast. I guess you gotta go fast or you blow up. Desert. Oh, what? Okay. All right, cactus man. Oh. Put yourself out of misery before I get there. right. I should have been right there. You know what, at some point, I'm going to blame Batman and Smith. Sixteen ounce, uh, five point one percent. Uh, enough to feel it. I'm an absolute lightweight. I need to memorize where to stand because I just can't can't draw the projectiles in my mind quick enough yet. Oh, oops. 
seriously? Uh, uh, uh. I don't even know. I don't even know how. Maybe I just use the magic. I run past it. There we go. That's a good plan. Alright, I know. I need to stand sort of right here. There we go. Not in the spikes. That is suicidal cactus. All right. All right. there more desert they gotta make it crazy. And like these, these are like ultra plain graphics. Oh, you know, I don't know if the master system was a, uh, response to the Nintendo or if it came after or before, I don't know. So I never quite know if it's more or less powerful than an actual uh, NES. I don't, I don't know that. So sometimes I want to be like hey, this thing seems very plain or doesn't work well it's basically a game gear I actually no it's actually a game gear I believe the uh, most most pieces of hardware that I believe you can even set up a master system to play Game Gear games. Like it's an adapter or something. I'm not sure. Alright. 
thought this was fun. How about some paper rock scissors at the end? Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and look at this footage and see if how apparent the like 50 hertz to 60 judder is because I think it's still like It's like the programming. It's not. It has nothing to do with the, the switch or slowdown or anything like that. It's like it's all the physics and everything is just based off of a uh, 50 hertz version of Alex Kidd. Okay, rock scissors. Oh, I just that's it. Works for me. What does ZR do? Oh. Retro. Okay. That's fun to just see it for a second. Oh. He has real big hands. Free guy. That was a bad use of the free guy. No, I can't. It's fine. Oh. 
One more shot. This is going poorly. I thought it was invincible. I'm not. No. Oh. It's time. I wonder if I can go back to where I was. That is certainly good news. In fact, it's such good news. I'm going to give it one more shot. Making those noises. Just uh checking the time sink. Extra dude. Blah 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 blah. Boop, blah, boop. happening there. Yeah, that's a... Uh...
Sound on that whole time. Sound on that whole time. I forgot how to talk. That's fine. We did. That's important. All right. Yeah, that was fun. Playing a little bit of a Alex Kid in Miracle World. Like I say, I probably. I think if I played one, it would have been on a Genesis collection. Uh, I'm gonna, ooh, now that I'm not playing a game, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to use Google. All right. And type in Alex Kid. That's my keyboard. Kid in Miracle World. Console game. Okay. Uh, is Alex Kid dead? People, that's what people also ask. Alex dies with one hit is the Google answer to that question. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's look at Alex Kidd in Miracle World, October of 1988. So that is way after... Not really, but it was after uh, Super Mario Brothers. Okay. Sega Master System is a third generation 8 bit home video console. Okay. It was originally a remodeled export version of the Sega Mark III. The third iteration of the SG1000 series. I'll have to look that up. I don't I don't know much about the uh the SG stuff. That's I don't know. Uh released in Japan in 1985. North America in 86. So it looks like it looks like it came here after the Nintendo. But maybe at the same time. History Mark Three. North American release. Okay, so it's called the Mark III. Oh, in Japan, the same day its competitor N Nintendo launched the Famicom. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hoping to compete with Nintendo. Uh, redesigned version of the SG-1000. Let's look at the SG-1000. Is it fun browsing the internet with me? Uh, first entry in the hardware business, 1984. Oh, God, they're like right next to each other. Yeah, these are game library. Uh, 42 game cartridges, Sega My Card releases. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Like, it's just a huge blind spot, and I think, I think it has to do with just where I, where I was born. Nintendo was my first system, and like my history starts with the Nintendo, and there was nothing else. And then uh, I went and I watched or I played the uh, Super Nintendo. By then, I knew about the Genesis. Uh, and then I was excited for the 64. I knew about the Saturn, PlayStation, and all the others, but, like, I was just, I don't know, my brother had the Sega consoles, and, you know, I, they never, in my mind, had a candle, but I know a lot could hold a candle to the Nintendo stuff, but I know a lot of, I know a lot of people now, mostly on the internet, know people in real life, I guess, that, uh, you know, I guess the uh, Genesis was more popular in Europe or something, or the people that had it really liked it. I don't know. Anyway, 
Anyway, I think that's going to do it. Now let's get it. I'm having fun with it. Maybe I'll play it again someday. Uh, if I do, it won't be live on the internet. I'm not going to subject anyone to that. But I'm glad I finally sat down and uh, played it. So with that, I think I'm going to jump on off of here. Jump off of here. Of the internet. And uh, see everybody later. Signing off. Thanks for watching. And bye.